upstairs here at Nippert Stadium alongside the former Rice Owl quarterback, Taylor McCard. Tony Simeone, so happy that you're with us. It is a homecoming of sorts today, Taylor, for this Cincinnati team that broke the glass ceiling for a group of five teams last year going to the college football playoff. Luke Fickle now in his sixth year has had so much success. How's he developed that culture here? It's a combination of things. I mean, it's not just the conference championships, the college football playoff appearance, but it's winning and recruiting. It's your seniors wanting to come back like a Desmond Ritter. And spending a couple days around this program, you can feel the buy-in from this play. the players and the staff. They love this program. They love playing for Coach Fickle. You mentioned Desmond Ritter, of course, quarterbacks a story this year. Great illustration, too, of that culture around here. Their starter this year, Ben Bryant, transferred to Eastern Michigan last season. He's now back, and he's won the starting job. Yeah, Ben Bryant made the most of the transfer portal, realized he wasn't going to beat out Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter coming back for his senior year. So Bryant says, hey, I'm going to go get some experience, goes to Eastern Michigan, takes them to a bowl game, and transfers back and wins the starting job. And he's talked about how excited he is to return home and lead this team. On the other side, Kennesaw State coming off a disappointing loss last week. You're going to see a lot of triple option for them today. Xavier Shepard is the quarterback. Anytime you're in a triple option, he's the key. Well, as is the case with any triple option team, they put a lot on the shoulders of the quarterback, and Xavier Shepard is no exception. He's the do-everything player for this Owls offense. The Big South Player of the Year last year, a Sun preseason player of the year, key for Kennesaw State. Get Xavier Shepard in space early on and let him do what he does best, make plays with his legs. Make them run sideline to sideline. You'll see number zero, Ivan Pace. Look on the left side of your screen, tracking down the running back, Nikeem Farrow. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. Make them run sideline to sideline. Rally to the football is a great play by zero. Automatic first down. The key distinction here, the reason why it was roughing, the, the plant leg for the punter got hit, and that's what they're trying to protect. We'll get another look at it. Watch the plant leg for the punter, Josh Hewitt. That left leg, when that gets rolled up on, that's what they're looking for. Running into the kicker, they stay away from that leg. But you're going to get the 15 yards and a first down every time they hit that plant leg. Quarterback's best friend. Get it to your big tight end. Just running the glance post. Center field's open. A good throw by Ben Bryant. Nice, easy pitch and catch to get on the board for the Bearcats. Preseason Mackey Award watch list for the big tight end. Wiley and Bryant hit him in stride on this throw. Pretty good protection up front, but the timing's just perfect on this. As soon as Josh Wiley hits that outside foot for that glance route, the ball's on him from Bid Bryant. And your transfer receiver in Nick Mardner, your transfer running back in Corey Kiner, it's a theme that you'll see transfers having impact for Cincinnati. Guys that not only are transfers into the program, but got acclimated into the system and are really keys to both sides of the ball for the Bearcats. You get both big tight ends with a touchdown early in this game. First it's Josh Wiley, now it's Leonard Taylor just coming on a shallow cross. Nice job by Ben Bryant, buying time, giving ground, delivering the ball, a nice accurate throw to big number 11. Puts Cincinnati up two scores. Watch the right side of your screen, just on a shallow cross. It's a nice, easy route and a nice, easy completion for Ben Bryant. That field comeback that's completed right here was the interception that we saw last week at Arkansas. That field comeback that Ben Bryant was just a little bit late and almost got taken to the house. Really nice tempo and timing there by Bryant to hit that. It's a really tough throw at this level for it those is. hashes, right? It's the hardest throw as a quarterback because you have to be on time and you have to be accurate. We called Adam Watkins' name a few times today. and. You know, there aren't a lot of holes you can poke in Cincinnati's performance today, but one of the things that I've had some concern over is protection. You know, we saw Ben Bryant get hit on the first play of the game and fumble that he got back, that sack there. There have been some protection breakdowns for this Cincinnati offensive line. 